and the storms are making it another hectic travel day for people flying. There have been hundreds of flight delays and cancellations. At last check, there were more than 360 flights canceled at Newark, at Kennedy Airport, more than 330, and at LaGuardia, 280. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal spoke to passengers who now have to make last minute changes to their plans. If getting ready for a trip wasn't difficult enough, now passengers at all three New York City airports are packing their patients as they deal with flight cancellations and delays. With the wild weather came disruptions at the airports. My flight was canceled in Dallas. Through, uh, through Dallas, it was a disaster today. At JFK, frustrated passengers were grounded for hours and even overnight. We were delayed, and then we were delayed more, and then we were canceled. For Mike Weber, who was heading home to West Palm Beach after celebrating his daughter's 40th birthday in New York. The whole weekend was great, right up until it was time to go home. It was the same deal at Newark Liberty International. It got canceled. We don't know why, and they're not going to fly us out until two days from now, from what we've been told. These people in line were headed to Los Angeles. Elizabeth Miller was one of them. They said the next flight is on Tuesday. And she has a problem. I have an interview on Tuesday, so... I don't know how I'm going to make that. According to FlightAware, all three New York City airports have been dealing with hundreds of cancellations and even more so flight delays. Newark with the highest. Traveling in airplanes, you have some bad experiences every once in a while and weather, nothing you can do about it. So, yeah, we're, we're okay. That's one way to look at it. And then for Weber, who's stuck in the city one more night. What's the plan tonight? Um, we're trying to make one. Every hotel around here, and we were, were rebooked out of LaGuardia, every hotel around there, they're all full of people just like us. And if you're flying out of any of the three New York City airports, you're advised to contact your airline for your flight status. At JFK Airport, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.